Juggle all his skills, maximize the enhanced base yeah. attack after using a skill. Why not just go for damage? You already have global uh, presence with the Suyo and yeah. Luyo, Luyi anyway. Okay, uh, if uh, Falcon's AP brand really, really needs to win the first five minutes of the game, or at least keep it close, and then if they can get an early kill onto Kelra, maybe one before minute four, and then the other coming in before minute seven. If they can get that while Very keeping specific, the game by close, the way. yeah. <laughs> if they can get that while keeping it close, then they could win it. But again, it's so specific. Can they actually do it? Play in Isu. Is it though? Hello. Oh, there we are. Welcome oh, that's to just, Mobile oh, okay. Legends. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me just go wind back that joke. <laughs> I reckon the last time we saw Flynn in this same spot for Fnatic Onyx, <laughs> it was a win. That's about as good as it gets right there. Great, uh, I don't know, man. Great lineups, I would say, for, for game number two for both of them. And this is exactly what Falcons AP brand needed to bring to the table. It covers their bases from that early to even the late game. But wow, phew, taking a whole lot of damage from Super Friends here. And mind you, he's got that 80% win rate on this Luigi pick has been massive to the success in a lot of the compositions brought to the table. Plus, he, he loves that War Cry Emblem, so that's why some of the times that burst damage from the Luigi really kind of surprises a lot of people against it. All right, back into the action. I think I would like to uh, concur with this lineup being slightly better for Falcons AP Red, given that they have the power pick of the Suyo. But there's an angling thought in my head. You let the Luigi through, man. Yeah. You let the Luigi through, especially with the... Wait, wait, wait. Camera! Oh! Camera's gonna flicker, okay. No follow up on this. Not sure if anything else is going to happen there. As you were saying, kind of does a TKO. There is a Grok. Yes. Imagine a wild charge from out of nowhere and then diversion from. Oh, here we go. Oh, one more. They're going to go for the play. What? Okay, I was going to say Super Prince doesn't escape that one, even with a flicker. So there we go. Finally, F Cap will get on the board early on. Kill the hands there, too, for few. Call it a TKO on Kelra and then a legit kill <laughs> on the Super Prince. A flicker for a flicker. Few actually spent his major resource there. But also consider, few watch that same game. That same game that Haji used an Aurora to check a bush from behind. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a factor now. Yeah, actually, it could Just be. clean out all possible bushes. Could be. got to trust that sense there. Right now, they're trying to keep him away from this turtle. Brusco, not going to get close enough, so Kyle Teasy will get the turtle. There's the initiation, though, still. Even Brusco at bay. Doesn't have the level four yet, so he's not going to be doing any uh, amazing wild charges just yet. Fnaticonic have to be satisfied with the orange trade and the eventual cleanup of all of Kyle TZ's camps down bottom. Looking at the item build right now, about 500 gold. We're looking at a three minute game so yeah. far. Even things, you know, when I when I think about the Clint, we actually had this conversation on the desk yesterday too with Ingon. I don't know, man. He, he he fits certain compositions. Like, he's still very niche if you compare it to all the picks that do come up through the gold lane. But one thing's for sure, like, he can provide quite a bit of damage earlier on compared to the Nathan here. Yep, and it's a very specific kind of damage. And here we go, Brusco jumping on in. Fanaticonic, more conservative now. Look at King Kong taking the flank. Very patient on this one. Ogwin's tanking it up as well. Still has the revitalized, so King Kong, this is how he likes oh. the jungle, man. But hold on, bottom side, that was the wild charge we were talking about. Super Friends will go up, clean that one. Finally getting a kill for himself. I didn't see it. It was off camera, but Kelra saw it. I guess that's one way you can use the Clint early on. Yeah. That was a utility marksman if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, also those those bowlers come in handy. So far, so good. One and one. Fnatic Onyx have survived the early game onslaught of Falcons AP Bren. I reckon we're at about the 340, four minute phase right now. Yeah, I was gonna say we're 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 imagining the time as well as we can with this though. It's called game sense. Yeah, game sense. Kind of unlocking it, but two. It looks like. And the turtle's about to spawn. I was going to say, and the turtle. So we're yeah playing with numbers here. I'm not the math guy, though, but I'm, I'll do the best I can. Diversion. Ooh. I can tell you where that's going. Getting a position right into that bush. He takes a couple shots. He's still got the passive. There's the flicker forward. Come out for flap. Still trying to keep him in the bay. Wild charge can be used again. Oh, and King wow. Kong will get the turtle. Still, the fight's going to break out. They're going to force him on the disengage. f -Nop will get the objective. That is a one for one now on the turtles. And just. Whoa, 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 wait. What? There's some action that was happening off camera. Gold lane again, back and forth continuously between Super Marco and Kelra. Looks like Kelra is not going to take that chance. He already burned the flicker. So that's another TKO mm -hmm. onto the gold standard. Mm -hmm. 30 gold. That's all Fnatic Onyx have on FCAP. And best believe, if, if, if FCAP don't find a way to turn it up to 11, yeah. slowly but surely this is going to grow bigger. Yeah, it's tough because right now for FCAP, like I said, they're playing around You know the, the different timings that they have with this kind of lineup. You can see this too, you know, Feather of Heaven is locked in here for Super Marco. It's been a hell of a lane though between the two gold laners and Super Marco does come out forward against it, you know, by about 500 gold or so against Kelro. But like I said, that Nathan is going to be looking to go into the late game and provide that, you know, 
that, well, we used to call it the Betty Bomb, but it's the Nathan Bomb at this point, you know? It's the Bulletproof Bomb. The Bulletproof Bomb. And luckily, Super Marco has Ogwin, one of the best heroes for uh, babysitting the Hylos, and that's why he's so willing to go ahead and Entropy up, because they've covered their base. So I guess that's one thing FCAP are holding on to, save for the whole, you know, 50-50 on the Turtles. Yeah. Cold lane, they got unlocked. Yeah, they do. I just, oh, they get Inversion. Uh oh! Send it two. They're gonna be going. It's only Ogwin, though. So not able to push through. Glorious Pathway gonna be dropped down. Kyle TZ has that information, but right now it just stops what FNOP had planned there. So good play into that counter diversion. Six and a half minutes in, I have a theory. Tell me the theory. Falcons AP Bren, they have a solid lineup to respond to the diversion. Yeah. They have a solid way to hold down lanes we'll and to get talking. objectives. But they don't have yeah. as good as a decisive play whenever Fnatic Onyx says, we don't want to fight. It's so much easier for yeah. Fnatic to say, let's go and let's not. Oh, wait, 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 Ogwin? It is, it is, it is a lot easier for them to just kind of decide if they want to fight or not. And with that, that's why they also take advantage of using diversions. There's the jump in with the Infernal Pursuit. Flores Pathway to help him out. Also on the back side, they're going to force the fight once again. Jumping on in, Brusco taking a couple of shots. Flap still up in the wild charge. Can go through and he's looking for the kill to clean Ooh. it up. Flap will finally get it. And the fight still for this turtle. Kelra joining the shot. Oh. Firing off on Ogwin. Gets out the Revitalize, so right now it looks like that's all it's going to be. Brusco, the only one to go down. Valiant effort by Falcons AP Bren. They do get the kill, but oh, oh, no, they're all topped up! A flicker forward again. King Kong will get the turn on. Oh, Super Marco joins the fight, though. Able to get Kirk, and that's all. That's the exchange. A kill for the turtle, but their eyes are set on the tier one mid lane turret. Being worked on. King Kong sees how low Ogwin oh. is. He jumps in. The fracture won't be enough, and now Few, though, will be in trouble. As Super Marco, Prince Marco. picks it up, Super Marco oh, he... doesn't have anywhere to go, but he gets away with Entropy in time. Few didn't well. see it coming. Marco got away just by the skin of his teeth. You may see it. And Ogwin tried his damnedest. And now, Fnatic Onica clapping back. I was going to say, amazing conversion oh. by Falcons AP Bread, but right now, clapping back cost him so much. Yeah, it does. And, you know, amidst all this, Leo, we're still relatively even. Even looking at the economy here, the items that are falling into place, nothing is too drastic. You know, aside, that gold lane, you got a good difference there. At least the two items, he's still working on the Holy Crystal at this point. So Super Marco, once that's locked in, that's where we see that biggest burst potential that can come out from the Nathan. And even this time around, too, they'll go and focus on the Tier 1s, trying to open up the map for them to set themselves up for this Lord taking about 40. Dare I say, Naisu, in... Up to now, all five games that Fnatic Onic have been part of in the playoffs, yep. this might be their most challenging yet. I would agree. Definitely is. Diversion, where are they going to send them? They know they're going to go forward. Still the fight in the mid lane, not fully engaged, but Glorious Pathway going to be dropped down. There's the Primal Wrath in response. Bruce, go. Uh -oh. Does he want to go? He dropped down the wall, still in the mid lane. They're trying to keep King Kong at bay. A whole lot of poking between both teams. Bruce, go holding on, still has the flicker. King, King Kong, Kong on the back side, oh. forcing Kyle Teasy back. And they want this tier one turret, but he's going to take the orange instead. He'll take the orange. Fnatic's gonna make a move for this tier one in mid. Ogwin! His whole career fashion before his eyes. Look at how close he was to death. He is going to get away with it. And Fnatic Onic posting up for the Lord. One thing that Fnatic Onic does here so well, that's why Falcons AP Brent can't get a sure hold of the game just yet. Yeah. Is the use of their weird damage profile. Can I say that? It is weird. It, uh... it, it's, it's so much burst, but just the same, it feels like they're just right clicks. Yeah, it is. It's. I mean, both the way, if you're looking at it, you'd be surprised too, like King Kong's 0, zero, zero but he's quite a bit ahead in terms of gold against Kyle Teasy. It's the most painful 0, zero, zero. <laughs> Yeah, He's just been able to farm up, work on the, and, and some of the team fights really is because, again, you're playing around this whole diversion, whether you follow it up or not, but also the poking potential that they have. And you can see that timing right now. Super Marco did get that Holy Crystal, so that's available. They're trying to feel out this area here for the Lord. Ooh. You can take a couple shots at Kirk. The turret being worked on, King Kong gets that one. Wow. Just by merely playing the map, Fnatic Onyx have gained a thousand gold lead. There hasn't been a kill in the past couple of minutes. He's gonna get another. And King Kong, he's taking names, and the names of these are mid lane turret, bottom lane turret, <laughs> tier two, another diversion. Oh, I think FKT is this. FKT is this. Well, Brusco wanted to take that wild charge shot, but not gonna happen because he was slowed down. So they'll work on it still. Playing around the macro that they have, and that's what they did. And now we're back to the stalemate. It's that base theory that's allowing Fnatic Onyx to do this. The fact that they just move faster and are able to make faster decisions and react to what FCAP do that allow for them to say, all right, we want to do this. Oh, maybe not. Let's move elsewhere. Yeah. And FCAP have to constantly think about that. On a 5v5, just full frontal uh, basis, FCAP can win these fights, no doubt. Yep. But FNAP are not giving them that choice. Their head's got to be on a swivel constantly for FCAP. And that's the case anytime you are up against a Luoyi. The fact that this is Super Prince, again, one of the few players that does still pick it up, makes it work 80% of the time so far. 
it's definitely an obstacle alone, even though we said, yeah, FNOP, despite all the games they played up to this point, this being their fifth, this the most difficult they've had. Hell, even for FCAP, the Titans, the you know, the current world champions, this is also a test of how far they can go in a series. Now 12 minutes in, no one's taking the Lord. Lord's Pathway dropped in. Lord's Pathway gonna be dropped down. Brusco. Again, and this is what we're talking about with damage profiles. The Lord will go for a reset, not fully, but still fighting for this territory here. No team committing just yet. The last time we saw such a beautiful Lord dance was between F Cap and Black just last night. And now, Falcons AP Bren back at it again. Old habits die hard, and Fnatic Onyx won't want to let go. They've now somehow won uh, control of the River Brush and the Pixel Brush. But this just means that these diversions could be more lethal. But I can just say the same for a few. He has <laughs> been cleaning out bushes so well. He has. They've been handling it. Good little pressure there on the bottom side, across the map towards that tier two turret of Ethnop. So, and this is what we're talking about. You know, when they play around the fact that they're trying to get some of the defensive items locked in here, Super Marco does finally get that win of nature. This is kind of what they need. They need to be able to go toe to toe, but also have those defensive options dealing with Fnatic Onic and also King Kong this time. Still sitting at 0 0 0 at 13 and a half minutes in. He'll grab his buffs and then they'll give the call eventually here once they're ready to fight this out. Who would have think the last standing Slayer? Uh, oh, there the it is! Whoa, here we go! The wild charge, are we going to be used? Few gets out as well, oh. but Oakwood won't be able to escape. The damage is there and Brusco, both roamers going down. So the four versus four, Lord for the taking here. Battle spells and ultimates used up. Few and Super Marco trying to get in position. Mirror moves from these two world class athletes. A diversion being set up here. I wonder. They take it! They it's take Kyle it. in the bush! Kyle's in trouble! He won't be able to escape as Kelra gets the kill. Again, a diversion. Capping it out. And now FNOP. They still have to wait. They still have to approach this Lord carefully. It's that same principle. They find Few! They find Few. Few's gonna keep Kirk frozen in place, but Flap! Flap! He's not gonna be able to get away just yet, but he does escape with a oh sliver my God, of health. What is happening? Still alive. Oh my God, what is happening? <laughs> Lord's gonna be worked on. Glorious pathway to try to zone them out. Ogwin takes a couple shots, and the Lord resets briefly for a second. There's still Super Marco might try to do something, but King Kong will finally get it. Diversion! Will find Ogwin to cut him off, and they break out of the fight in the jungle. Flap, clashing down with the Infernal Pursuit, but it's not enough as it's a double for King Kong. And FNOP will win that one decisively with the Lord. The Falcons get nothing in return. About 5,000 gold ahead at 15 minutes. The patience and the execution, the conviction of the Sonics. Go ahead and get them an enhanced Lord. Joseph is cracking inside Falcon's base. They already got the bottom base turret down. They're still waiting for Flap here to defend. They'll work on the Lord here. And as you saw it, Fnop feeling really good. Kalra locked in. You saw the achievement that he got. The Filipino Savage is back. I mean, it won't reflect the kills, but what he's done to FCAP, he's denying any oh. and all engagements. Here comes Brusco! Brusco jumped in again with Wild Charger. Flap wants to fight it out. Super Friends already gone. Kelra moving and grooving as he picks up a kill. Still working on it. And now Kirk trying to keep him at bay. Oh, no. Kelra's still alive. Takes a couple shots. He's got to back off, though, because FCAP wins that fight. Three go down for FNOP, and now the momentum shifts for Falcons AP Bren. King Kong! King Kong jumping in, trying to bomb and weave on out of there. The core is halfway, though. Goes through the wall, he'll survive. But they gotta keep this together on the defense. A three for one, and Falcons AP Bren making the most of the exchange. Oh, oh King Kong's going for it! He shuts him down, the Beast Incarnate at 4-0 and 2. He goes down as well. Kyle TZ drops him. It was all part of the plan. What a game two we have here between these teams. The Slayer gets slain. The gold lead made kaput. Just a thousand gold ahead at under 17 minutes, eight to eight. Throughout all that, Falcons AB Bren suffered major losses. Joseph, they don't have a top lane inhibitor. They don't have a bottom lane inhibitor. And I don't think this Lord Dance is gonna treat them any better. I don't know, man. If we just got a preview of that, that last Lord, which took oh, quite a long time to get to. I'm not sure if it took as long as yesterday's, but it was still a hell of a mind game that Fnatic on Philippines also approached that. And FCAP themselves, you know, if you're looking at the items here, they're falling into place, but they still have some catch-up to do in certain roles. It's not what you got, it's how you use it. I know we say that a lot, and the phrase almost means nothing, but here specifically, I'm looking at Super Marco, he's got a better kit than Kelra. Yep. I'm looking at Marco, and I think he can blast King Kong to hell. All right? To and hell. back. And back. And back. You saw how King Kong just popped like a pimple when Kyle got his hands on him, <laughs> he right? He did. So, if some way somehow oh. FCAP can find a winning position, this could be a Lord that's theirs. Oh, once again, we find ourselves. What are we calling this now? This is a, is this still the Lord Dance? This push and pull between both teams. 
Kind of fading through. Here it's going to go for it as King Kong will get the Lord. The toss up through. Flap's going to be taken out. And they go in, pressing the situation as they find Kirk and Let's Super go. Prince. King Kong still getting on out of there, but they got the Lord. And that's going to be enough for Fnatic on Philippines for now. Two for one. FCAP economically trading up, but just the same. Fnatic Onyx take the Lord. I'll tell you now, Flap TZ, this is just another day in the office. He's the number one the most damage taken on all of the league. So he's used to just throwing himself at his opponents. He's that body bag. And just saying, take me, all right? Not my teammates, take me. And that's what allowed for FCAP to take down Prince and Kirk. Now the question, how does FCAP make the most of this? Because for the first time in, I'd say, 15 minutes, yeah. they have as close a lead as it gets. This is about as close as it gets. You don't have that huge gap that you're working in. And just like you mentioned, even even considering the items, as we take another look at it, you can see how much fight capability that this Falcon AP brand and lineup brings to the table. Whether it's Flap throwing himself forward or Ogwin cutting them off, there's enough threat damage-wise that Fnatic on Philippines can't just haphazardly go into fight. And I feel like that's why we see this so often, where they're trying to look for different angles, they're trying to util utilize the diversion, or if that's a wild charge conceal play from Brusco. With that said, I'm taking into consideration the items, the positions on the map, what the map looks like, and there's one thing that's glaring at me. What is it? Why can't they catch Kelra? How can they not take down the gold standard? I don't know, man. If you if you guys you've is seen it, the clips and the moves from him this season. Is it too much work for Kyle to find him? I think it I think it's almost too much of a risk. Is it impossible? He only has one he barely has a bodyguard. And yeah. I'm, I'm looking at Kirk. Like Kirk is his bodyguard. Yeah. But that aside, if you can take down Kelra, maybe the face of this game changes. Maybe suddenly the Lord is that much easier for FCAP to take. I think when you look at it too, aside the fact that Kelra's just got, you know, amazing micro technical skill, it's just the team's lineup feels for him really well. Like you have so many options, whether that's, you know, the wall from Grok, you can also use the wild charge. You have Kirk doing the same thing with the Edith sometimes. He's just earth shattering or, or onwarding forward. There's so many options for them to protect Kelra. And so maybe that's part of the puzzle. Like if you're Falcons AP Brent, how do we get to him? How do we actually shut him down? And I feel like they've been trying, even if that's utilizing the glorious pathway from Ogwin, but they just have a hard time getting through that front line first because there's so many options to peel for Kelra. And I think that's the magic word, Joseph, breaking through the front line. If some way, somehow, Ogwin can lay down the red carpet, make like the Wizard of Oz, get that golden brick road up to where Kelra is, or maybe King Kong if he's lucky, then FCAP can take this Lord. Suddenly, we're not in Kansas anymore, but it's gonna take magic. Whoa, Lord, just whoa, talking about magic. Oh. Lord just snaps back they from behind the, the Guardian's barrier. Now Ogwin playing footies with Brusco. And I think, slowly but surely, past the 20 minute mark, King Kong is allowing himself to be seen more now. He's not taking the flanks as often. Yeah. He's more willing to poke. And that might be a tempo break. See, look, that might be a tempo break that FK might not be ready for. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and heal that up well. Good push down bot two. And like you mentioned this, you know, earlier, that the disadvantage here for Falcon's AP Brand is that they don't oh. have the base turrets, but they're going to want to force the fight. Super Prince already going to flicker out open. Watch it come, John. King Kong, though, goes in, gets the pass. Steven Flap tries to flicker on out. Kyle not going to find connections, Brusco. and they fire back at Brusco. Still has the immortality, and they disengage. The base is going to be worked on, but King Kong and Kyle going one versus one. A diversion into the base. Can they get there in time? Kyle goes down. They still have the minions to clear through. Not everybody could get back in time, but Fnatic on Philippines will fight it forward as they take out Flap, and they make the play to take it to a 2-0. The Sonics are at match point. One game away from going to the Grand Finals. One game away from M6. My goodness, they got a, they got a sweep yesterday and they're on the way here. 2-0 right now against the current world champions, Falcons AP Bren. The, man, the IQ on this team, the play.